Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video I will be showing you how the Fruity Fast LP and the Fruity Free Filter work in FL Studio. So I'm going to start off with the Fruity Fast LP, and what this is is a really simple low pass filter. And what a low pass filter does is it removes frequencies that are higher than the cutoff frequency. So you'll hear if I play this white noise sound that I've made and change the cutoff, the higher frequencies will be filtered out. And you can see this over here on this spectrum graph. Up here are the higher frequencies and then down here are the lower ones. And then you also have your resonance amount. And what resonance does is it will create a peak where the cutoff frequency is. So I'll let you listen to me turn that up. Right. So you can hear that peak. And it can be pretty piercing at uh, higher values, but it can sound nice at lower values. And the Fruity Fast LP is super simple, but you shouldn't ignore it because sometimes, you know, simple is quick and sometimes it'll do just what you need. Okay, so next up is the Fruity Free Filter. And yeah, this is kind of similar to the plugin we just looked at, but it has more filter types and a couple other controls. So you can hear me play it. And here you don't have resonance, but you do have Q. And the Q is either your resonance or your bandwidth, depending on the filter type you are in. So for the low pass filter, it is your resonance. And then the other addition you have is the gain, which doesn't affect the low pass filter. So let's look at the different types of filters that the Fruity Free filter has. So we've already done the low pass. And then there's the band pass, which you can see filters out everything except for what's around the certain frequency range. And here the Q is the bandwidth. Lower values it will have a wider bandwidth and higher values it will be more thin. Okay, so after the band pass you have your high pass which is the opposite of a low pass. So instead of filtering out the high frequencies, it'll filter out the frequencies below your cutoff frequency. And again, the Q is the resonance here. Okay, so after the high pass, you have your notch filter. which is the opposite of your band pass. It will filter out your sound at the frequency cutoff and the frequencies around it. And here the Q also acts as the bandwidth. So for lower values, you'll have more frequencies filtered out and at higher values it'll be more precise. Okay, so after the notch filter 
you have your low shelf. And this is where the gain starts coming into play. So your low shelf filter will either boost or reduce any frequencies that are below the cutoff. So instead of like completely filtering them out, you can just reduce them. Or, on the other hand, you can boost them. And then the Q here is the bandwidth. So next you have your peaking filter, which will either boost or reduce around the frequency cutoff. And here the Q is the bandwidth again. And then after the peaking, you have the high shelf, which is the last filter option, and is the opposite of the low shelf. So it will boost or reduce any frequencies that are above the cutoff. So that is how the Fruity Fast LP and the Fruity Free filter work. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.